it would not be a Simone Cherise video unless I had a super extra, extra, extra intro. But let's get started on this video. So today's hair is with Wiggins hair and I went ahead and dyed it this nice dark brown color that everyone literally has been asking me about, like how did I dye it? That color that I got, this dark brown color, was literally by an accident. Extreme accident. It was kind of a case of I just had old products laying around. I mixed them all together and this is what I got, okay? But I started off by bleaching the hair by kind of just like lifting the hair a little bit so that the color would show. So I used BW2 powder with a 40 developer. And I kind of just kept this on the hair for about a good like 40 minutes. I want to say but i only dyed it once i didn't go ahead and bleach this twice just once guys all three bundles and the frontal and if you see towards the top i did go ahead and start streaking it a little bit just so that it was kind of like ombre but kind of like you know a little case of being all over the place with this color but like a neat ombre you know and then i went ahead and i filled it in and yeah so that's what i did for the entire thing so keep watching guys Also, guys, be sure to check out part one that I have with this hair where I did straighten it and curl it and layered it. So go ahead and watch that. Um, I will have it up above. Also, before I went to the next step, I shampooed this hair twice. And then I went ahead and I conditioned it once. And that was all. <music> So you see the color has like more of like a red undertone going on. Um, that I wanted to kind of get rid of. So that's when the idea came into play. Like, oh, let me just experiment with what I have underneath. So I had this Clairol um, color 6A, guys, a 6A color. And I went ahead and I just mixed. I only had one bottle for three bundles and a frontal, yes. <laughs> and because it was ombre, it did go ahead and stretch. So I went ahead and I just squirted that all over the hair. I think it helped to kind of take out the redness because the hair in person has this nice natural brown kind of look. So I put that all over, kind of mixed it and everything. Go ahead and really, really, really make sure it's saturated. And then I found this other product that I had laying underneath and this was the T11. Okay, so I went ahead and poured that in the bottle well, in the jar, use my 20 developer, <laughs> pour this in there, and I did that twice. I only did it twice to kind of like stretch it, you know? Okay, now you see me going ahead and just mixing this color all over, all over the entire hair, guys. This thing was a mess. I also did go ahead and, um, let this sit for about an hour or two in a plastic bag. And then I went ahead and shampooed it, washed it, boom, boom, boom. This is me today, actually. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me look like this. Um, I put my hair in a ponytail, put in a tiny little bun, and that was it. This is how the hair looked. Now, it is a little bit more... It, guys, it's more richer. Follow me on Instagram for the real, 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 real color, okay? <laughs> but this is how it looks on camera for some reason. And I went ahead and I just kind of like trimmed the lace a little bit. Like I said, guys, I do have a video, a part one with this hair already. So this is my part two. And it's like the second week that I've been wearing this. Well, actually the second week and a half that I've been wearing this wig. So, yeah. Went ahead, cut some like baby hair. Well, I'm gonna call it edges. And then just hot combed it, Okay. When I hot combed it, I did not press it against my skin. And now I'm gonna use some Nairobi. So this is one option you can go ahead and do. So I put that on the edges, kind of to just like help like set it and everything, you know, boom, 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 comb it in different direction that I wanted it to go. But then something just told me, girl, get the mousse. The mousse does the job, okay? So if you're noticing, for the last two videos, I didn't use any gel, glue, tape, adhesive, nothing, okay? Just a straight up headband. Girl, guys, whatever. I ain't got time, okay? I don't got the time and the patience for gel right now. And honestly, I'm gonna give my little edges a break. So it's been like a no glue gel type of like month going on, you know? Anyways, I went ahead and I overdid it with the mousse, but that's okay. You know, can never have too much mousse. I'm lying. You can. But <laughs> this is my end result. Damn, that looked good. Went ahead and I tied my head down for about 15 to 20 minutes. You guys know I'm impatient. So took it off before it was really, really, really dry. And this is how it looks. 
I think it looks pretty good. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. So my boobs kept popping out, so I had to keep fixing my shirt. Anyways, back to the mousse, and I went ahead and I actually sprayed my hair, wet it, boom, boom, boom. And I put some mousse in towards the top to kind of give it that, like, wet look, you know, that whole wet thing is going on. But then I was taking some pictures for the gram, and I was like, yo... It needs to be more wet. It needs to have that wet look. That real, like, I just came out of the pool shower type look. So now you see me right here actually dousing it a little bit. I was, like, loving this whole little, like, lighting and scene. Like, it's just, it's just a little popping. You know, I had to throw my little filter in there. I'm so extra, guys. I am extra, but I'm, oh, I love a real, real creative video. Like, I feel, I was feeling sexy right here, Okay. I love wet hair. It's just so, 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 so sexy. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in my next one.